Hi guys and welcome to Tech Based. In this video, we're gonna talk about some new features that you can find in Windows 11 25H2 and the latest preview build from the dev and the beta channels of the Windows 11 Insider program. And these are some interesting new features that Microsoft is testing out. One of them is a completely hidden feature, but some of them are just slowly rolling out. In this video, I'm gonna show you these features and how to manually enable them if you wanna have them on your Word dev or beta channel build. So if you enjoy videos like these, please don't forget to leave a like below and also subscribe to the Tech Based channel with the notification bell activate it so that you won't miss any future uploads like this one. So let's begin with the video. First of all, as always, we're gonna have to set up Vive Tool on our computer. Just get Vive Tool from the article below in the video description and get the latest version.zip for Intel and AMD and then open it up using File Explorer. Inside File Explorer, click on Extract All, click on Browse and make sure you extract it into a dedicated folder. For example, I have a folder created in my Windows partition, Hidden Features, I'm just gonna select it. You can create one yourself and then also copy the location because we're gonna need it whenever we are running the commands. Click on extract and then in my case I'm gonna have to replace the files in the destination and we are good to go this is how easily you set up Vive Tool on your computer now we're gonna have to open up the CMD open up the search box type in here CMD and then click on run as administrator and on your account control click on yes inside CMD type in CD and then paste the location where you extracted Vive Tool and then we're gonna have to run three different commands for three different features a huge shout out to Phantom of Earth on Twitter or x.com for providing more information also the IDs for these features make sure to follow him from the pinned comment below also all the commands and all the steps will be in the article below so you can just get them from there first command is this one which will include four different ids this is the command that will enable the new modern run box and you should receive the message successfully set feature configuration the next one is this one which will have one id and this will change the dialogue for the change account type in settings and finally one last command that will enable the new voice typing experience in the touch keyboard again for all the commands you should receive the message successfully set feature configuration and now you can exit out from the cmd and restart your computer for the changes to take effect. Now after the restart, we're gonna have all the new features. First of all, to access the new modern run box, we're gonna have to enable it first because by default, the old run box is still the one that is default in the system. Just open up the settings app, go into system and then scroll down to advanced. You're gonna have here the option run box, use the modern run dialog when pressing win plus R, enable this. And now when we're pressing win plus R on our keyboard, we're gonna have this new modern run box, which looks pretty good. It has the mic effect, the run button, and also the new run box dialog and it works basically the same but it also will show as opposed to the old one it will show a history of all the commands that you are running and also suggestions so for example if i run the explorer.exe we're gonna see that whenever i delete everything we're gonna have this history available of all the commands that we've ran before and also as i've said suggestions so for example if i type msconfig it's gonna suggest me this command also if i type for example winver it's gonna suggest me the command so i think that is really really nice it's pretty good that it was added in Windows 11. Now let's check out the new change account type in settings, also a new dialog. If we go to settings, accounts, and then scroll down to other users, we're going to see here my user. And if you click on change account type, we're going to see that this dialog has been changed to match the Windows 11 design principles. You can change the account type from here and you can click on OK. So I think this is also pretty good. One last change is the voice typing experience inside the touch keyboard. If we open up the touch keyboard, whenever you are pressing the voice typing button, it will now show this animation you can use voice typing to type of course rather than opening a completely different window as it was before so basically these are the three new features inside the latest dev or better channel builds of course to have access to them you're gonna have to be at least on the build 26 to 20.7523 or above don't forget that all the information vive 2 and the commands that i've used will be in the article below in the video description and yet again don't forget phantom of earth on twitter or x.com for all the latest news related to windows 11. if you enjoyed this video please don't forget to leave a like below and also subscribe Subscribe to the TechBase channel with the notification bell activated so that you won't miss any future uploads like this one. I was Imani from TechBase. Until next time, have a nice day.